Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. This year I will be doing a farmhouse themed Christmas. All the supplies that I will be using will serve as a basis to show you how I put items together for my projects. I hope that they will serve as an inspiration to give you ideas on how you can put things together for your holiday decorating. And I hope that you will enjoy this whole series. And as always, to all of you, Merry Christmas. All right, everyone, today I'm going to be making a Dollar Tree miniature house inside of a display case. So let's show you what the supplies are going to be so we can go and make this craft. All right, so I've got a number of items to create a display box that'll have a little miniature home. And at the Dollar Tree, they have this little collection and I think they have like four different houses, uh, but I only found one. And this is the one that I found. It was a little post office. Here is the tag. It is. It has a hole in the bottom so that you can add a light inside. At first, I thought it was an already lighted uh, item, but it already came with something, but I turned it around and realized the tag said that I could put in a battery operated votive or, you know, the little string of lights. So I went ahead and I stuck in a, a votive, a battery operated votive in there to light it up. Now it's gotten stuck in there. I can't take it off to try out the lights, which I also did get. And I have that right here. But I'm going to go ahead and use a string of these uh, around uh, the inside of the display anyway. So uh, I'll use those for that. So I'll also be needing some batteries. And I've got batteries for my string of lights. And this is what the string of lights looks like already opened up. It has 10. And it does have a blue uh, light to it. I thought that was fine. We're going to use those inside. I also found these little miniature Christmas trees. I thought they would look pretty inside of the display and they have a selection of these little miniature uh, also that you can use in your display with the little houses or the little buildings and I bought four packages of several different things I got the little post uh, little light post here with the little bench and then I also got a, a Santa I think he came with these two ladies I'm not sure I don't even remember but it came with two little ladies and then I got these uh, boys that are building a snowman and it has a little snowman here and then a lady carrying a snow, a little b basket of snowballs it looks like. And the other one here is just looks like a, a little post office box or a hydrant, I'm not really sure. And then a couple and then a child right here. I thought they were really cute so I went ahead and I grabbed those. Of course I got my tea lights just in case I needed extras but that is what the package looks like. All these items, again, are from the Dollar Tree. Now, I had uh, some leftover foam board. I have a scrap piece right here. You can get that at the Dollar Tree as well. And then I'm gonna be using some frames. So I chose this particular one. You can choose any size and make your uh, display case any size. Just match them up and see which uh, frames will look nice together, make creating a cube and a lid and so forth. Uh, but this is what I chose and I've opened up three of them because I'm going to use three of them and I've gone ahead and I've already spray painted them in white so I have them here already and then I also purchased this one here this four by six and I've already gone ahead and painted it white because I didn't have any extra so I needed two of those so I got those so I got three of this uh, little wall art I don't know what size that is but then I got these two four by six let me just measure the wall art real quick the whole complete frame is, let's see, let's go this way. It's about 11 and a half, but almost eight inches. It's seven and three quarters. Okay, so that's the size of this frame. So just measure the outsides and see if they match together. I got some snow from the Dollar Tree as well that I'm going to be using inside. I don't know if I'm going to just use one bag or two. So I grabbed two because I know I'll use it for something else. Uh, last week I used this garland. It was a 50 foot garland that I also got from the Dollar Tree. It is wired. I found out that it's really nice. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. Um, I do also have some other items that I did not get from the Dollar Tree. Like this, for example, this little pick that I got from Hobby Lobby. I decided that I'm going to use that just because I want a different pine. I also got uh, this little stem of some berries. You can find little berries at the Dollar Tree. And you might be able to find also some stems like this. Uh, I didn't purchase that because I wasn't planning on using any of this. Uh, so I decided to grab whatever I have here in my home. I also have some uh, glitter that I'm going to be using. Some white glitter or iridescent or anything shimmery that you like. 
a little bit of Mod Podge. I'm going to be using my hot glue gun and glue sticks. I'll need a measuring uh, a ruler or tape or something here, a brush for my Mod Podge, a nice cutter. I'm going to be using my cutting mat in just a moment and a pencil or pen to do some markings. Oh, I also got this pretty... Uh, Christmas a gift bag because I may use this in the background. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes, uh, but I have that ready just in case. I don't think I left anything out besides maybe using some wire cutter, scissors, and some glue sticks. All right, so let's get to crafting. All right, so what I did is I had removed all the glass. I opened up everything and all the uh, paper and the backing that was in all of these frames. I took them off and I threw them away, but I did save one of these cardboard backings for one of these frames because I may decide that I do want a background uh, for my little display case. And then of course I went ahead and I spray painted them. And I've got all my glass here and then I've got these other ones here that I've got ready. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these little prongs that are at the back of the frame. These were used to uh, seal in the, uh, the glass, to hold in the glass and all the uh, items that were inside but I'm not going to use them I'm just going to hot glue them and the reason that I'm not using them is because when you turn it around um, let's push one in let's say it's pushed in oh that one broke off well I don't have to pull it off now but these right here when you push them back in you'll be able to see them through the glass and I don't want them to be to be seen so I'm going to be pulling them off so I'm going to be using some needle nose pliers here they come off very easily you could pull them off with your fingers but I, I kind of rather use this because I can assure myself that I'm not going to poke myself. Okay, so we're just going to remove it from all of them. And then we're just going to take our hot glue gun. And let me get the glass off of here for now. We're going to take our hot glue gun and add a bead of glue. I've got my little fan on. You might hear that. It's because of the smell of the spray paint that I used. Okay, we're going to just... Pour some glue here, and I did spray paint these outside, but I didn't quite wait till they were completely, completely dry, so I can still smell them. Okay, so I just put some glue in the corners, and then I'm going to put my glass in right there. And then what you can do is you can also pour some more on the very edge, on the sides. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do with all of my frames. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've glued all my three larger frames together with the glass in there and the smaller ones as well. And then I'm gonna take one of these, which is gonna be at the top of my case, put it aside, and then one of them, which is going to be the back, and where I'm hoping to put uh, the, uh, the decorative paper, you know, the gift bag. I'm gonna do a background on it. So to these, which is gonna be the front, and the two sides, I want to do a little bit of a frost effect. I want to add some little bit of like a snow look on the edges, the little corners. So I'm going to take the Mod Podge and I'm going to mix it up with a little bit of that glitter. And I should have gotten a little bowl and I didn't. But I did grab this uh, paper here. So I'm just going to pour some on the paper. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this little glitter. Pour quite a bit of it in there in the glue. And then I want to mix that up. I want to mix it up and this glue will dry clear. So I just want to get that on there. And let me spread it and see if that's enough glitter. I feel like I need a little bit more. So I'm going to add more glitter to that. And about how much glitter am I? It's about, let's see, I think I have maybe a maybe a teaspoon of glue, a little bit, maybe a teaspoon and a half of glue, and about a good teaspoon of glitter because I think I poured half and then another half I think that's good okay that's good okay so now I just want to brush it on thinly so I don't want too much on my brush so I'm just gonna wipe some of it off and then just take a little bit just a little bit on my brush and just brush it on the little corners Make it look like little mounds of snow. Not too big, just a little bit because we don't want to cover, you know, what we're going to see from the other side. Okay, just in the corners and on the bottom. A little bit like that. 
from the other side. You can see that on there. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do all the way around. Just a little bit on the edges. And I want to make sure that it is going to be seen. So I do want to make sure that I go, uh, you know, where the little, the frame, where I can see the frame. Just go a little bit beyond that. And then just kind of wisp it off to the sides. You want it heavier on the inside, but lighter as you go out. So just use the tips of your brushes or your brush to kind of pounce it on there. Let me put something underneath so you can see better because obviously <laughs> this is all white. Here we go. Right there. You can see right here where I've done it in the corners. And I'm just doing this. This is either the bottom or the top. And then I'm going into the corners. And then work my way to the other corner. And across this way to this other one. And it's already starting to dry over here. I've got a little fan on, so that's kind of helping. It's already starting to dry, and I can see that it's going to be clear. And all I'm going to see is just a tiny speck, a little speck of what is glitter. Can you see that on there? All the way around. Okay, that's it. I'm going to do the other ones, and I shall be back. So while my frames are the glasses drying from the Mod Podge and glitter, I'm going to go ahead and cut out this bag for my background, which I want to be uh, inside of my case. I'm going to take one of these frames because I want to put it over it and decide that if I do like that. Well, it's actually going to show like this. And I do like it a lot. Let's see. I think I like this area where... Uh, you kind of see two little birds and the Merry Christmas is sort of kind of centered so I'm trying to push this I'm trying to put this frame where I have that Merry Christmas center and then I'm going to draw a line on the outside here that gives me an idea of where things should go and then I can go ahead and cut that face of the bag and I'm just going to use my scissors so we can open this up. Let me go ahead and take that off like that. Okay. And if you want to go ahead, what you can do to make it a lot easier on yourself is just cut it off first, right? And then do your measuring or whatever you want to do, your drawing. Okay, let's get this piece out of the way. We can use that for something else. Maybe create a card or just a little framed art. I do have the, you know, some of these frames that are extra. Put that in there, that'll be pretty. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut along this uh, pen line. I don't have to be very precise. I don't have to cut exactly on it. I can be a little bit inside or a little bit outside of it. It doesn't matter. All right, I've gone ahead and I've placed this on here by gluing the little edges to the back. And this is gonna be showing at the back of my case, but I kind of don't want it to leave it just like that so unfinished. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the other piece from the bag and put it on the what would be the back of it. So I'm just gonna put some glue and lay it on there. Oops. It doesn't matter because it's just the back, but I still don't want it to look, you know, a mess. So I'm just going to glue it. Okay. I'm just trying to finish this fast so I can get this up on, up on YouTube for you guys. Okay, so now I'm just going to trim the edges without...
All right, I have to make a little decision here because some of my glue did uh, kind of come out of the edge over on this side, and I don't mind it too much because I can put some garland going down on the edges and cover that up or some ribbon. Uh, but I went ahead and I went ahead, uh, thought a little bit further than that because some of you have been saying that you like things with uh, lots of uh, bling. Now this year I'm doing farmhouse for my Christmas. So I don't know if bling will go with my farmhouse thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here for the sake of you viewing it. So I've got this adhesive diamond wrap. That's what it's called, and I did get this also from the Dollar Tree. If you don't find it like this, they do have it in a roll, like ribbon, and then you could just uh, cut whatever uh, size you need. And I think the ribbon, uh, the roll is like about like four rows of this wide, and I've gone ahead and I've measured what I think will fit on this little edge, and three, three will, three rows. So I've cut out three, and then I'm just now going to cut it to the, 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 the tall height, how tall it is. So that's that. Now I need one for the other side as well. And I've got a scrap here that I'm cutting from because I have purchased this to do some other projects. So I happen to have a whole package here so you can see the, um, I happen to have it. I didn't have it here on purpose, but I happen to have it. You can see the label on it. That's from their regular uh, items, the regular floral aisle, or it might be on their little craft aisle. You can also look where they have the... Uh, like uh, school stickers and such. I think that's where that particular package was at. In case you don't find it in the floral. Okay, so this has adhesive on the back. And I'm just going to pull it off. But you could use your glue gun, which kind of what I would want to do. Just to make sure, because sometimes that adhesive does not pull up. Okay, it is now because I'm... It's a, lot, it's a thick strip. So now I'm just going to stick this on here and that kind of helps to hide a little bit of the glue very nicely on one side because it wasn't that bad over here over here it is kind of kind of coming out quite a bit and I could use just a blade and just cut that off but for those of you who like bling I think this will be nice there we go let's put it on there I'm just going to cover that glue there we go see how that'll look and if I want to finish it off I could do maybe one or if two rows fit here on the front edge of the case and the top one just right here or you could go ahead and put it all the way around but I think it looks fine just like that just two little edges all right you do what you want this is dry so now I want to cut the piece of foam board that's going to go at the bottom so let's get this piece of scrap of foam board that I have here I'm going to place my, and I waited till I was done. I didn't want to measure and then cut it because what happens is when you're gluing these things together, they're not always very square. Your case doesn't always turn out very square and sometimes it's a little lopsided. So you want to make sure you do this when you've already, um, when you've, uh, goodness gracious, you've got it all glued together. So now I'm just going to line the, the uh, edges, this edge right here and this one. Let's see, I think I like this edge better over here. This edges here. I'm going to line these up with the inside edges up in here. Right on there. And see, it doesn't line up because they're not straight straight. So I'm just going to have to push it in a little bit and just put it on the outer edge as much as I can. And I'm just going to have to cut this, the actual shape that this is. So make a line on the inside, right on the edge. Right on the edge. Your pencil or your pen. Okay. So there we go, I've drawn that, if you can see that. So now I'm just gonna take my straight edge here and my cutter and cut that out. Yep, okay, now. And there we go, trim that off. Okay, here's that little corner that I marked. That should fit right inside, and it does. Yay! <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is I want to glue that down to this bottom uh, parts. And right here, it's not quite matching, so I'm going to make sure I get plenty of glue there. So let's get some glue here. Actually, 
I want to get some lights in there, so let's let me do something real quick. Let's push this out. Let's bring it back out. I want to put a pack of battery operated lights in the back here, but I don't want the I need the string to come out somewhere. So I'm just gonna make a little tiny little a little hole just enough for the string of lights to go through. So in other words, this string to fit through there. We'll see if that, that idea even works out. Okay, so I want this, this is my, my little corner. I want this to be in there and these lights to be out so I can put them on here. So I'm gonna put them inside for now. back down so I make sure that it's actually I can glue it from the inside put glue on the inside but I'm gonna wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna put glue on the from underneath okay so I'm now I'm doing the bottom and just putting plenty of glue so that that does not move Making sure all the little holes are sealed except for that one for now. A little hole area right here. Make sure that's sealed. Anything that's on the edge here, just kind of smooth it out a little bit after it's kind of gotten cool. I can do it with my finger. You can do it with a, a little piece of another little piece of foam board, for example. Just you know, smooth it out so that you don't have any bumps, so that when you place it back down this is the bottom you place it back down it's not you know kind of you know like lump bumpy and not unleveled or whatever you know just don't want that okay and I'm just gonna smooth that out with this piece here all right so now I want to attach this battery pack and I want this little switch to be on. This is the bottom again. So I want to make sure the bottom is facing down. And I want to be able to where I can open it. This is the, the area of the battery pack that is open. I want that facing up. So I'm going to put some glue right here and just glue that down right on here. And I can just flip that wire over to the other side. It's no big deal. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on it. Ooh, glue it up kind of high. There we go. And then I can just reach behind it and turn that little switch on and off for these this string of lights. And now that I know where I want it, my first light is right there. So I'm just going to push this in just a tad. And now I can go ahead and just carefully add glue. You don't want to put, like, you don't want to squeeze a whole bunch of it in there because the other is just going to drip in there. So just a little bit of glue at a time. Once it becomes a little bit solid, put more glue. And the only reason that I'm, that I'm sealing that little hole is because of the snow that I'm going to pour in there. Otherwise, you don't have to worry about that. Okay? You're not going to put any snow in there. Or if you want to glue your snow down on the inside, then of course you don't have to worry about any of it dripping out. So now I've got some little lights for the inside of my box. And I want to... I want them to come around on the sides here and on the top. So let's go ahead and put this. Well, I can't flatten it because of the battery pack. Hello. Okay, so now I'm just going to put little dots of glue on the inside where I can push the lights up against the edges back here, coming up and then across here and then back down. So I'll put a dot of glue there. Push the wire. There we go. I want you to be able to see a little bit of what I'm doing at least. Put a little bit of glue in there. Put the wire against it. Try not to pull on it so it doesn't pull up over here. I'm going to do the same thing right here, a couple of dots here and there, and then going downward. Mm -hmm. 
All right, you guys, I was able to get it even all the way around at the bottom across there. So I just want to make sure when I pour the snow that I pick up my little lights upward so that they don't get hidden. And there we go. That's what I've gotten so far. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to apply my little people that I want to put inside of my display. I know I want the snowman, the Santa. I kind of want these little benches. I'm going to decide where I want my little house. Or actually this is a post office, but maybe you decide to use a different type of uh, house. Hopefully you get lucky and you find a nicer one. That's cute, but I would have rather have like a little house house. Now, um, I just said that I just want to put it back here somewhere, kind of angled. It doesn't, it's not really going to matter because I am not going to glue the house down, only because I want to be able to lift it out and turn this on and off. Now, I do have another little idea that I think I might incorporate, and that is to, I'm putting my house down in there where I want it, and then I'm going to mark around it with my pen especially the little corners here don't worry about your pen marks or your pencil marks because like I said you're going to cover that with snow okay now that I've marked at the bottom and I don't know if you can see that pen line in there the little rectangular mark what I can do is I can go ahead and cut with inside of it in here, I can cut with inside of it so that I'll be able to reach underneath and turn the little house on and off. So I'm going to try that. And if you want to do that, awesome, then you can go ahead and glue the house down. So I'm just going to reach in with my cutter and I'm not going to worry about it being too straight. I just want to make sure that I'm cutting definitely inside of the line, not outside out to, you know, over here, but I want to be inside of it inside the rectangle so if it's just a, if I end up cutting you know just a little bit just where this will be exposed that is perfectly fine and that is kind of pretty much centered so that's kind of what I want to do I just want to cut I'm gonna make like a little X here that'll help me so I'm just gonna turn it around without pushing too hard on it right where I make that X All right, so I'm back, and all I'm doing is I'm just cutting this little opening a little bit nicer. It's at the bottom, so it doesn't really matter, but you know, I'm just looking at it, and I kind of want to fix it a little bit. Not too much, because what I'm doing is I'm just ending up cutting even bigger. So now that I've got my hole <laughs> that I've cut within the marked line that I made in there, I can now glue my little house down in there, because I know exactly where to place it. And if we turn it around, You'll see that now that is exposed and you can reach in there and turn the switch on and off. The little tea light, and even if you have to pull it out, you can. So I'm just going to put some glue on my little house here. Line it up again. There we go. She's in there, and now I can reach there and turn it on and off. I'm not going to do that right now because it's still wet and it's not. Uh, it, it might pop off on me if I try to push the little button. Okay, so I was trying to decide what little people I want to put in there. I definitely want the Santa, and I kind of want the Santa somewhere up in the front, and I want to put the trees in there as well, so let me get my trees open. I want to do them first. I think I want a nice big tree over here, and maybe one right next to the house, kind of in the front right here. So I'll just put some glue at the bottom, a little plastic, and then just Glue it right there. This one back here. Mm, right about here. It doesn't really matter. There's a little light right next to it. That's nice. Okay, I want my Santa somewhere up in the front. Put him right here. Maybe he's just finished coming out of the post office. He's grabbing some packages that he's going to deliver. Maybe get his letters that say what little kids said they want for Christmas. All right. I'm going to put this little bench somewhere back here next to this little tree because it's like a little park area here. A little light post next to, next to it. Make sure it's facing the right way because it has like a little wreath on it. This one, the other one has like a little flag. I'm going to put this little light post next to the house right here. And the decision is, do I want to use all these little people? A lady with a little kid with a snowball right up here in the front. 
and this lady here who's got like a little tiny little dog with her I'll just put it right here you don't have to put all those figurines of course you can do a lot less or maybe you want to put two little houses but look here's my scene so far I think it looks really cute now I want to go ahead and uh, put the snow right in there to finish it off or I think I might want to do that at the very end let's go ahead and do the lid for it so I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit higher so you can see what I'm gonna be doing at the top of my display case Okay, all I've done is just place this on top of here. It comes right off. Uh, if you want to figure out, maybe put some hinges on there, that's fine. I don't mind it being, you know, just a little bit overlapping at the top. I kind of like it. And I think it looks just fine. But I am going to do a little bit of decorating at the top. Uh, you could leave it like that. Maybe add some more of that bling here on the very top. Which, you know, just to finish it off on the, of the top edges of these two. I think I will do that. Give it a little finished edge if you want. You could bling all this out. Put something blingy here on the top. <sighs> I think I'm going to put some garland on the edges. I do like that. Okay. Uh, this is from something else that I did. I happen to have that. But it's not enough to put all the way around. Or at least not enough to do the front and then the back. Because I don't know if I want to do the sides here. I want to do here. And I want to do the back. That kind of hides the fact that it's a little bit, you know, bigger than the rest of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of slack right here at the very tip. Straighten it as much as I can. Right there. Bend it. The corner. Do the same when it comes around this way. And just bend your wire so that it's not flopping around. Okay, so, which, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this part off, which is the lid. Do it carefully so you don't crack it. Put it on the count on the table here. Okay, so this is where how big it is. So I'm just gonna cut it just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. And then I'll just trim the excess. I'd rather have a little bit of uh, leftover than um, be missing some parts. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some glue here so I can start uh, gluing this down and this little this little little uh, slack that I wanted at the beginning was so I can twist them together but actually I don't even need that because I'm going to be gluing it down so I don't need to twist the edges together so let me do this new yeah let's go right here and then right here okay let's place some glue on this bit here and I'm going to do one side at a time just fluff up your garland a little bit. There we go. Make it look pretty. And then going down this side. Okay, now we're going to trim off that little bit and I'd rather do that than it'd be too short okay so now we've got this all on the top of the lid which is going to be our lid haha -ha. and if you want to decorate it some more you can which I will I'm going to take some of these little pieces my cat is rubbing himself all over me he wants something yep yeah, there he goes he just answered in case you didn't believe me Right, smudgers? My phone is going crazy. I need to go ahead and answer that. So I shall be back. <laughs> all right, so I lost all the footage. <laughs> uh, what I ended up doing is I ended up cutting the little bits of this uh, pick, little little bits right here, and a little bit of the berry. And all I did was hot glue it onto the garland, on top of the garland, as you can see right there. You don't have to add this. This is all up to you of decorations that you want to put on there. If you want to bling it all out instead on the edges, do that instead. Uh, you don't, again, uh, this is what I chose to do, and it's just my taste. Uh, so don't leave a nasty comment if you don't like it. And I just pushed the glass here on this one here in. So I'm just going to go in with some glue. <laughs> so um, just say, you know, I would do something different, or this is what I would do. Just, you know, give your little suggestions. Uh, that's always nice because we like to share ideas. We don't want to tear other, another person's ideas down. So let's be nice. Okay. Here we go. Now this, I can push it back on here and it's my little lid. 
as you can see right there to my case I like it so I'm going to leave it like that so to finish it off I want to pour some snow in there which I decided to wait so I just want to pour all that snow in here from one bag I wasn't sure if I needed one or two bags but I'm definitely going to put in one bag and I feel like that is enough to fill this so it just depends on the, the frame sizes that you find and how big your case is going to be uh, maybe you want to add you know more of these side by side like this and then put this end way over here and then make a longer piece of foam board so you have a longer case and you have a you know a longer display for your little village and then you don't have to worry about the kids you know wanting to grab your little people and all this other stuff because you know they're in here okay so now i've poured all that in there shake it about to kind of level it off there we go just make sure none of these lights are hidden one in here somewhere there it is he's popping out okay there we go and then I'm going to turn on this light and the bottom for the little house which you can't really see right now because it's not dark enough for the tea light there we go all right let me put my lid back on my project is done so let's take a better look at it. All right, here is my finished box. I think it came out really cute. I love it. I am going to go ahead and give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you will also give me a big old thumbs up. I wanna say thank you to all of you. I put a note on the community page and a lot of you responded with your lovely prayers. Thank you very much. I wanna let you know that your prayers have been heard and they are being answered. So thank you very much uh, from myself and my family, especially from my brother. Thank you so very much. I love you very much. And uh, if you need prayers, you ask me and I will be there for you. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Those of you who haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and uh, share your social medias and hit that little notification bell. I put uh, videos up every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, will be crafts from here on till the end of November. And I might throw in a recipe here and there and some little extra surprises. All right, that's it. And as always, enjoy.